I've always believed that uh, this is not the best way for the consumer to get their car repaired. And because it, it, it promotes getting it done quickly, which, I mean, we all want stuff done quickly. Sure. But it does not promote thoroughly. Hello everybody, happy Saturday to you. This is Eric Gramer, Robert Grieve. You're watching the airing of grievances and if this is your first time here, welcome. If you like what you see, we'd love it if you would give us a big thumbs up for the video. That helps the YouTube algorithm find other people just like you to view this and consider it relevant to their uh, viewing content. Now, uh, if you're a regular, you know, we're grateful for you. Thanks for being here, and uh, if you don't mind, don't forget, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button, and don't forget the uh, notify bell. That actually helps us also be seen by YouTube and makes us a little more relevant. All right, now, uh, Rob, today... Happy Saturday. Oh, to you. Happy Saturday. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and just want to get right into the meat and potatoes, but uh, there's always time for a little <clears throat> of this and thank you for you uh for you guys to tune in uh during our premiere hit uh love seeing you there absolutely and, and what he's talking about if you if you're not aware is uh every saturday morning at 9 30 in the morning we have uh, a premiere if you will and rob and i are actually here watching at the same time you are and we can answer your questions or say hello uh, any of that kind of stuff it's just kind of one of those things we do every saturday morning so if you really want to interact with us live while the video is playing for the very first time uh tune in every saturday morning 9 30 in the morning on the mountain standard time zone and uh we'd love to to connect with you type us a note absolutely okay rob so what are we uh what are we talking about here today and uh, it, i i know what it is but i'm interested in how you're going to frame it for them Hmm. Well, it's a incredibly controversial subject in the industry. I love it already. Uh, and, uh, you know, why would it matter to you as a consumer how the technician or estimators or anybody else involved in the process are paid? Oh, you're, you're talking about the people on the floor... Yeah, or, or the, the people, people in the, the office, office, anybody in the organization. Why would it matter to you? Well, what do you mean, how do they get paid? Like every other week, or uh, what, what are you talking about? Well, there's different ways people get paid in different industries. And, uh, you know, some people make an hourly uh, wage and then work X amount of hours. If they sure. go over 40, they're going to, you know, get time and a half. Okay, and yeah. Then there's some people that are on salary and some people are salary and bonuses. Uh, you know, there's all sorts of different pay plans out there for people. Okay. But, you know, what I'm going to try and talk about today is, you know, the way we do things here. Yeah. And, and it, it's growing very slowly through the industry the same way. Oh. Uh, but not every shop works the same way. So basically the industry does it a standardized way. Yes. And we do it a little differently. Way. <laughs> way, way a little different. Uh, way a lot differently. Yeah. Uh, okay. But for reasons. For reasons. Okay. For reasons. All right. You, you got my attention. I'm interested in it. I'm interested on your behalf because this really does have a lot to do with you. So uh, generally speaking in the industry, technicians are paid what we call flat rate. Flat rate. And, and flat rate is, uh, you know, that person has a, an hourly rate. Yeah. But it's not based on the amount of hours he's working. It's him or her. It's based on the amount of hours that are on the estimate. So the estimate dictates how many hours a particular repair should take. You would think. You would think. Uh, you know, I have 
this one right in front of me, and it's it's a rather simple one. Okay. And and keep in mind, because uh, I know you're going to throw something, probably this one up there. Sure. Because we're talking about this one. It's just a uh, front bumper and grill. All right. Um, <clears throat> and so to overhaul the bumper, which means take the bumper off and disassemble it all, uh, and then reassemble it all after it's painted and put it on the car, that's really overhaul the bumper. Okay. Um, this pays 4.7 hours. To whom? Well, it's, it's just really a calculation on an estimate. This database says that it should take 4.7 hours to do that uh, particular item. Okay. Okay? Yep. And then over here, the painter is going to get uh, 4.2 hours. Okay. All right. All right. So they're paying for the mechanical of disassembly and all of that reassembly. The body, yep. And then the painter gets the painter a is separate also, line item. Yep. That's, okay. It's okay. also in, included in there. All right. Um, and so the the way the estimate works is, you know, that's a it's a total of you know. Uh, must be some other items on here. Oh yeah, down here. So the the. Body Tech is working on this and looks like 5.5 hours. Total. So 5.5 hours times what these people consider to be the prevailing rate in the area. That's going it's to be an interesting subject. part of the conversation, <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, is $54. So okay. if you take the 5.5 times $54, $297. Okay. Is what is the body labor for the shop. All right. Okay. Now the tech, if we're in a flat rate system, is going to get 5.5 hours times maybe, and everybody's different depending on your skill level and so on and so forth. Uh, but call it twenty dollars an hour just for a you know a round number. Something less than fifty-four. Something less than fifty-four. So that the shop can actually make some money as well. A little well. bit of money. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so 5.5 hours times twenty dollars. Okay. Now. This job to do this bumper at, uh, we're going to just stay with the 5.5. Okay. May take him two or three hours to do it. In actual chronological time. In actual time. time. Okay. Or it may take him six hours to do it. So in one case, he's winning. Yes. And in the other case, he's losing. Yes. Okay. But if it's the other case, the shop isn't losing because they're only paying him 5.5 at, at his rate. So you're going to make $110 whether or not you get this job done in two hours or six hours. Right. That's basically it. Flat rate. Got mm -hmm. it. That makes sense. So, and... If you are getting paid flat rate, you're going to want to work quickly on these vehicles so that you can get to the next one. It's to your advantage to knock out as many of those as you possibly can in a chronological hour. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So when you're, I'm going to call it rushing, because that's what it kind of wants you to do. Are all the, you know, key elements hit the way they should be done? Is, is it, are we rushing through this to get it done so we can get to the next job? Or are we focused on the job at hand? This goes to motivation. Yeah. This, this goes straight to motivation and uh, not just the motivation for you or the, the technician, but the motivation for the shop as well because... They're getting paid on every single one of those that comes through. Bang, bang, bang. More money yep. in. Get the cars in and out. But at what expense? The expense, you know, I've always believed that uh, this is not the best way for the consumer to get their car repaired. And because it, it, it promotes getting it done quickly, which, I mean, we all want stuff done quickly. Sure. But it does not promote thoroughly. So it's about getting the car in and getting the car out. And that, that's what the shop wants. That's what the techs want. 
and it creates a an atmosphere of moving quickly and getting the cars in and out, 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 instead of necessarily correctly. You know, you know going after those finer points. You know, looking up the procedures and yeah. and and really diving in. And am I doing this thing? absolutely properly or am I going off of 30 years of experience and not necessarily going and looking up uh, the, the, the you raise a good question right there and that is you know I've got 30 years of experience so I don't need to look up the procedures we've had a video that talks about that and why it's so important to go back and look at the procedures because they do change they change regularly and we just had a conversation earlier this morning about a particular brand of vehicle one of the most popular in America where their procedures the repair procedures change regularly yeah it's it's hard to believe they change so often and so uh, yeah okay I'm, I'm picking up what you're laying down here Rob and then let me just connect the dots uh, for our listeners here um, you probably don't pay by the flag hour or the flat rate I should say uh, you pay your employees either hourly or by salary. Yes. Yes. And in accordance with the laws, naturally. Of course. Um, but typically what you'll find if it's a flat rate tech, they're going to go like this. Okay. Okay. Get past that. And they're going to go right to the total line and say, okay, I got 5.5 hours on this thing. Yep. And instead of going through and reading all of these things and making sure that it's totally inclusive of everything that's needed. Right. I, I mean, I've seen it happen. Does it happen everywhere? No. Sure. Uh, I'm not talking in absolutes in, in any things I'm talking about here. Uh, I'm saying, generally speaking, if you pay anybody this type of a program, a flat rate program, yep. it encourages fast, Yep. not thorough. And it's important to tell our guests and you, the viewer of this particular video, that while everybody wants to have their repair done quickly, it's better to have it done in a timely manner, thoroughly. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so we pay everybody on the floor here and even in the office, they're either salary or they're hourly. Right. And uh, there, you know, there's no commission structure or anything like that uh, because I want them to focus on the car in front of them and make sure that car is perfect and not have to worry about their paycheck. Yes. Because if this bumper that pays 5.5 hours takes them six hours, they don't get penalized here. I'd rather them take the six hours if that's what it needs to, to do it properly. And, and there's a big distinction between that because in the flat rate uh, world, if you will, it, it, it's about getting it done as quick as possible so I can get those hours on this week's paycheck so that I can go to the bank and whatever the case may be. My people know that they're going to get a check every single week. And, you know, you, you look at going through the, the, the pandemic and the lack of work because people weren't driving. Right. Uh, these people are still paid on flat rate and they may not have very many jobs in the in the shop yeah so there's there's not a big paycheck to be had and they're getting penalized where my people got paid the same whether it was through the pandemic or a regular day yeah yeah uh, and they get paid very well I have another question for you hypothetically if we have 20 of these lined up, stacked up, mm -hmm. and they're all different jobs. Mm -hmm. Hypothetically, would it be possible for a shop manager and or a technician to go looking through, find the, uh, total, the, hours. the total hours, and say, I'd rather do this one instead of that one first because it pays me more? You know what? I, I couldn't say that that doesn't happen. Yeah, but you know, again, what what is this flat rate payment program encouraging? Speed. It's it's encouraging uh, my paycheck. Yep. It's encouraging uh, move quickly. Yep. 
and I don't think that's that's good for the person getting their car repaired. Uh, it, there's many cases that you know we'll be painting a uh, a fender, and we need to blend into the hood, and there's chips in the hood. And if they're not excessive, I'm just going to tell my guys fix the chips in the hood before we paint it, because I'm not painting over chips. In, in the flat rate world, I'm not getting paid for that, is what your answer is going to get, right. what you're going to get. Right. In my world, it doesn't matter, because they're getting paid anyway. We do what's right. We, we do what's, what's the best repair possible. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I just really feel, and then you take that hood, and the chips are all the way to the other side, and now we got to get into the other fender... This is all on me. It, right. It's not on uh, the tech. Right. They're just there to, to get the job done so it looks like a diamond. So it's a completely different style of management. Right. And and we don't have well to have those conversations that you're not getting paid to take apart this fender now that was never... Because we're fixing the other side over there. Yeah. That's what I got paid on. I'm not getting paid to do all this other stuff. So, And if you say, look, you got to do it anyway... Yeah, you start to breed resentment. Now there's a little bit of resentment going yeah, on, yeah. and I don't want somebody resentful working on one of my people's cars or one of my guest vehicles. And so it's really advantageous for you, the consumer, then, to know the shop that you're going to. Ask them, are your technicians and employees paid on a flat rate or are they paid on an hourly or salary type of a wage? Because in the end... It's the people who are paid salary and hourly that are probably we, we got a big you know there's brush, just right? yeah there you know there's no absolutes here right but but they're probably going to be more attentive to the proper repair the details and yeah. you know if if you're gonna you know put a radiator support in what instead of approaching it from what's the fastest way I can do this approach it from What's the best way? What's what's the manufacturer want you to do? What kind of welds? Oh, wait a minute. Now I got to stop and do, you know, weld tests and set up the machine and all the rest of that. I don't see that on the paperwork. I'm not getting paid for it. And you know, we avoid a lot of that stuff and just focus on fixing the car properly. Yeah. And there's shops out there that have adopted, you know, this same philosophy. Uh it is not worldwide in this business. Sure. Because, you know, as a shop owner, I get to limit my payroll by what I'm putting out if I'm on the flat rate system. Right. So if we're not putting out that many cars, my payroll isn't that big because everybody's on flat rate. Yep. My payroll is almost virtually the same every week because I'm fronting the money, yep. basically. Yeah. I'm fronting the money and paying these people and... You know, people do a lot of things for money. <laughs> <laughs> and there's cars getting fixed that should be totals because we need the hours. It's not about we need to take care of the guest. It's not about this, this car is a, a total. It's about we need the hours. And, and it, for me, it's just never been a good conversation to have, and it is never consumer-centric. And every decision I try to make here, I try to make it around the consumer. What is very, very best for the consumer? There's other shops out there that do it this yeah. way. Yeah, you, you and I are cut from the same tree, and I, I remember very clearly uh, in a different line of work that I was involved in, I simply addressed the team and said, we're going to ask one question and one question only, and that is, what is the very best that we can offer to our guest, our consumer? It's the best way to do it for the guest. Yeah, and and I think that's one of the things that I love so much about here and these videos and this this entire atmosphere here. Mm -hmm. And by the way, uh, it presents a tremendous amount of loyalty to the mission. Our mission here is, if it's not right, it's not leaving. Right, I mean that's and it. everybody knows it here, and 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 if we gotta pull the, the the bell and stop the assembly line and and readdress something to make this thing come out perfect, everybody in the, in the place has the ability to pull that cord and say, yeah. let's stop, let's relook at this thing, let's get some 
you know, get on the phone with a manufacturer if need be or somebody else uh, and, and really dial this in so that we know yep. that this car is going out the door the right way. And if you're doing it quickly and, you know, it's a bumper job, let's just say, and you take the bumper off, okay, looks like just a bumper job, but did you look behind? Is there any damage past it? We did a video on uh, one of the cars that we pulled the bumper off and then we took a look from the back side into the sensor, the uh, the lane sensor, right? Yep, yep. And uh, it was damaged. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? If you're doing the right job all the way forward, yeah. then you're going to come out with the right job. But if you incentivize people to do it quickly yeah. rather than thoroughly, and, and there's shops that, that do the, the flat rate, very very well because it's sure. it's about expectation and it's about you know boots on the ground and yep. being involved in the conversations and stuff it's it's not you know a horrible horrible way to do it both systems work depending on what shop you're at and and what the culture of the shop is and there it is right there we're talking about the culture here we thought we were talking about how employees get paid and we are but it really goes right down to this it's about the culture and I think that's one of those things that you can almost observe instantaneously when you, yeah, you walk, walk in. You walk through the shop, you can feel it. Yeah, you talk to the to the employees and or the the management of the shop, and you can actually get a feel for the culture. And if there's that little mm, thing in your stomach, do us a favor, give us a phone call, It'll ask the question. It doesn't matter where you are in the country, uh, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Give us a call. The number's right here, and it's also down in the uh, description box. Or if you have a question and you want us to answer it, either by way of one of these videos or directly to you, drop a note in the comment section. We are more than happy and very responsive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, we're here to help you and answer questions. And, you know, this may or may not be something that uh, you feel like you want to ask or, or whatever, but I just wanted to bring it up as a subject because there is a difference, I believe, with a technician that does not have to worry about their paycheck yeah. working on the vehicle and getting it perfect yeah. rather than the technician that is just solely worried about what's, what's on the last page. Okay, I need to do 15 of these this week uh, in order to make my paycheck, so let's giddy up. and Yeah, I think it makes a big difference, and I thank you for bringing it up. Again, it's one of those things you probably would never think to ask, but now that you're aware of it, it's one of those things you probably can't unhear, right? <laughs> uh, and that's that's good for you because an informed consumer is uh, really the best thing in for, for everybody. For everybody all, all involved. Yeah. For everybody involved. Robert, cheers, Happy my Saturday. Friend. Happy Saturday to Hope you. Hope that was helpful for you.